It's the perfect combo. You know, it's time to keep asking. I gotta find some time. Oh, are you, are you trying to do both? Yeah. Sorry. Hey everyone and welcome to the MQC round robin. We got Harvard versus Brown. Harvard is in the white and red and Brown is in the black. Brown will be starting with Quaffle. Starting keeper. Andrew Steinberg. Brown beaters make a beat near the hoops. Yes, Finn. This is Ian Skurr and Abraham Brennan in the commentary. Brown pulling down the wing. Steinberg cuts in the middle over Bradley Smith. Bring it down the right side. Pass over, drop, but Brown keeps the quaffle. Good hustle place. Harvard really a stout defense, kind of keeping Brown on the outside of the field right now. All behind the hoops. Looking for a pass over. Back across. A lot of luggage on the ground. Out of Steinberg. Blocked. So, but that's going to be goaltending. Uh, Chaser blocked through the hoop. Good goal for Andrew Steinberg. Brown gets the first goal of the game on their first possession. And that will be a lead. Harvard now setting up on offense. Passing it over. To Chaser, Felix Bolwa down the wing. Leo Fried dodges a beat. Going for goal. Pass over. Scrum at the hoops. Unclear. Major dog pile in front of the middle hoop. Beaters are coming in. Uh, and Brown Beater. Don't see the number there. 37 for Tori. Cleans up the play. And Brown gets a stop. Starting strong. Big hustle plays on offense and defense. Yeah, really strong defense on both sides, I think, right now. Uh, first possessions, I've really noticed. I mean, both teams have been tried to be patient, gotten a lot of good looks, but uh, defense has been honestly stronger all game for both teams. What's the time so far? Two. Two? Okay. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we the yellow card, remain in the box until Brown scores. This is also a bludger turnover. Okay, so we have a, a beater foul on Harvard beater number 27. We have a fucking chance. Let's make something of it. Here we go. Yep. Uh, for contact below the knee, uh, I didn't see that, but there was a lot of things going on, so it seems very possible. Results in a bludger turnover, so Brown is going to start with bludger control on this possession, and Harvard's going to be down a beater. Definitely a good opportunity to put another goal on the board. And we basically have groups up again. Harvard beaters 1937. Or Brown beaters, excuse me. It's to look to make play here. Waffle behind the hoops. Smith. Harvard beater doing doing his best. Steinberg misses over the top. That's a pass. Right there. Good shot. That was great movement there. Way to swing the ball around and get a good look. Pass outside. Leo Free dodges one, dodges two, and scores. <laughs> so the score is 2010. Brown in the lead. And stoppage for potential fouls. Yeah. I'm really impressed with the ball movement by Brown right now. They're really swinging the ball around the outsides of the, the hoops. Getting good looks both behind and in front of the hoops. 
uh, really keeping Harvard's defense on their toes, and I feel like Harvard has a stout defense, so impressive work from Brown here. Yeah, you know, Harvard likes to come out in that very compact zone, and the way to attack the zone is from moving the ball around and attacking from all sides, and so far Brown has looked really good on that front. Maybe a step up from what we've seen from him in the past. When Brown scored, they went back. And uh, as we know, going into this match, I believe we have these are the two. Going after beat on the Harvard beater. This was all today. Back to use and a bludger turnover to Brown. And we have another penalty on a Harvard beater. Uh, it's just the back to so no, no card. But it will be another bludger turnover. So Brown will start another Brown. offensive possession with bludger control. Yeah. Uh, Here's uh, Wang and Tatori Lindsay with control again. Go! Go! Take, go! Make a play on Harvey yeah, Beaters. Yeah, oh, but well, we got a fast break going the other way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but blocked at the hoops? Blocked at the hoops, and Brown is trying to go the other way, but Cyber brought down by Frito outside the keeper zone. Back in the zone. Chris, that was across the keeper line. Chris, that pass was across the keeper line. Nice stop by Brown at the hoops. Another quick yeah, stoppage. Uh, as I was going to say before, as we know, this matchup is the two division leaders. So we have a reset used and a warning to the Harvard bench uh, for making ref calls by the Harvard coach. That's an interesting call. Brown has not seemed to want to use the reset so far this game, so um, we'll see if that ends up impacting this offense at all. And if it was worth the warning to the bench to get that reset called. Andrew Steinberg bringing the ball around the outside, wrapped up, gets it out. Nice dodge. Good Roger dodge. Back to Steinberg. Driving to the hoops, past one, but he was beat. That's a quadruple turnover. Harvard's taking the ball down the field. Ball all wrapped up, but gets the ball out. Freed. Hey, we got numbers. Let's set up. Harvard looking to equalize again. Scores 20-10. Brown. Attack it! Attack it! Yeah. Like Free goes around. Oh. Yeah. Hey, all day hotel. And that's a pretty easy goal for Harvard. We're gonna have a stoppage here for a potential injury. 2020. Brown starting with the ball in the heat zone. So we got Brown starting with Quaffle again, bringing it up on offense. New beater in number 27 and 16 seven last possession, I believe. Quaffle up top. Harvard with control on defense. And they're they're you know they're gonna fall into that zone. The beaters right at the top to keep the zone. Oh we got a, a bludger block. Some, All players who are beat. Some good movement, but beat Harvard ends up with a quaffle. Oh, that was a big hit. We're gonna have another stoppage here. Let's <laughs> break. Fast break in their own way. Five minutes. Five minutes in. Score is still 2020. Tie game. They're pressing. They're pressing. Support Andrew. Support Andrew. Great low pass to Andrew. Harvard beater pressing, pressing at the midfield, looking to make a play. Yeah, before this yeah, offense yeah, even starts, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Brown's beaters push him back successfully. Ball's on the wing. Player was beat, but got pass off the floor. And another. I know, I was just saying. You gotta think that Harvard's still gonna play a zone. This is the one last point defender and push this beater. And Let's see how they hold up here. Yeah, it's, a, it's not an easy situation, not when you practice often. But. Are you going first? You gotta use your feet. You gotta use your feet to get there. Because, like, you're never gonna get. Even if that tackle. Even if it wasn't like. Brown does have a chaser tagging back in. That's a good question. 
score it. Do they both go at one minute? Just no. Now. It's one minute, then the... Uh, Actually, no. If, if a minute passes, oh, no yeah, goal yeah. is scored, then they both score. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Otherwise, they both go goal, and then minute, yeah. or two goals. Yeah, no. Andrew, pass off and stop! Look at Quickie! Reset used! Okay. Brown takes a reset. Just, you got to think they should be pushing this tempo a little bit with the power play. We have a chance of getting two short-sided goals if they push this. We have the keeper sub, number 11, Blum in. Good slow play in it! There you go, there we go. Harvard still playing his own for sure. Ball on the wing, back up top. 11, take a shot. Blocked to Blocked to the, the hoops by Felix Bull, I believe. Uh, the, that's number 13 for Harvard. And Harvard is going to take their sweet time here. Undoubtedly. Huge defensive stop there. You have two players in the bo penalty box. You need a stop to keep the game tied. And now Harvard's going to get some time to really uh, clear the penalties, maybe even get a, get an extra goal here. Penalties killed. Harvard, Coast, Peter, and Chaser coming back in. Successful kill. Harvard still. Not pushing too hard, but Peter play and they win back control immediately after getting the other Peter back. Three down the wing again. Driving in. Shot to the top hoop. Take up all over again. Hybrid up 30-20. Brown's gonna need an answer for that if they want to win this game. Well, Go! Fumble, but the yeah, dodge is a beat. Control we got a Pitching struggle for a bludger at mid-pitch. Brown wins the bludger. Back behind the hoop, oh, but Jessica Lee makes a beat, but still Brown ball. Brought down hard by Freed. And that's going to be an out-of-bounds. Nice play by Freed. Forced the out-of-bounds. Inbound Harvard. Behind her hoops. Harvard again showing the ability to stop on defense. Brown continuing to swing the ball around, getting good, pretty decent looks for, for opportunities, but uh, Harvard's defense, Harvard's, Harvard's ability to hit, stopping them. Yeah, I'm liking the passing looks, just a couple fumbles, not super crisp. And again, Freed on the right wing. Dodges a V. Oh, but stopped at the hoops. No good. And this will be cleaned up by the beaters. Oh! Freed picks up a loose ball, puts it through. Thought there might be a beat before call there, but there's not. So Brown, Chaser had covered the ball, so the Harvard beaters were able to go in, clean it up. Freed was able to grab that loose ball and just put it through the hoop before the keeper was able to get their hands on it. Yeah, and we have another sub for Brown. Fall beater sub. We have 37. That's Tyson Hattori Lindsay. One's on the ground! Oh, but Harvard picks up the ball. Leo Free driving down the field, makes a move, and shot through the middle hoop again. Top hoop. And that's, I believe, four unanswered for Harvard. Score is 50 20. So Brown got out to the early lead 10 0, and then 20 10. But since then, it's been all Harvard. They've got their fast break going. They have their offense that Brown has not stopped yet. And Brown hasn't been able to score in their last, I don't know, five or so offensive possessions. Nice aggressive beater play. Balls are on the ground. Drive to the hoop. It's good. It's good. Nice play. Coordinated play there. Although, the although, <laughs> Leo Brady <laughs> has a fast break with no bludgers. Oh, but it's fumbled at the hoop. Brown makes a stop. And Brown so making the play for control. Silverman beat out. All the bludgers were on the ground. In Brown's half. Blum driving again. But tackled hard again by 98. Harvard's physical defense. And another tackle by Brown. Brown gets the ball. This they briefly look to down. run. They are looking to run. Lee throws the ball back, but Peters beat out. Kicks it out. Pops up top, the Tory driving. And a goal! And a hustle plays from Brown in the Beater and Chaser game. Get them that goal. See, I really, I really think one of the differences in these last two offensive possessions for Brown has been their Beaters. 
their beaters have really sacrificed going in, being willing to lose control if that means getting a goal. And then on the opposite side, chasers have been able to make stops even if their beaters are still trying to get possession of a budger back. So really big plays there. Beaters changing on offense, giving them some lanes. And uh, we got the score back at 5-4, Harvard in the lead. 50-40, sorry. Yeah, and this, this beater pair of uh, Ryan Silva and Tyshawn and Tori Lindsay with control. Brown coming out in a zone look. Keep her at the top. Passing it around. Oh, Reed, but the pass is low, and that's going to roll out of bounds. That counts as a defensive stop for Brown. And Brown now with a chance to equalize. Can you stop time on that inbound? Hey, 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 Andy yeah, yeah. is your sub when you're ready. Next play. Yeah, next play. Walk the ball. Walk also, if anyone out there is having troubles with the live stream, please, please let us know in the chat. If I'm doing a bad job of painting the camera. I apologize. Sometimes I get caught up in the action. That's actually funny. So I... I said Brown, bringing the quaffle up. Oh, strip? But I think he stays on Broom. Like, oh, oh, no, they're going to call that off Broom. Turn over to Harvard. Leo Free with the quaffle, driving down the field. No budgers. And Reed. Dunk, dunk over two ground defenders at medium hoop. Seventy forty. is Okay. Oh, yeah, sixty. Never mind. Sorry. Score is sixty forty. All right. We have a new keeper in for Brown. Thirteen Richardson. Yeah, I believe so too. Kicks it over. Cross. Catches it. Stays on Broom. Is able to get the ball off. Brown is wrapped up. Oh, but feet behind hoops. Oh, and now I believe that's Ian Polk. Yeah, from with Harvard. Oh, stripped! Nice strip by Brown to slow the fast break down, although it might keep going anyway. Brown's bludger is way off pitch to Harvard's own, and there are no It's nice passing by Harvard. But tied up. Drop ball. Pass the Felix Bowl. Oh. oh. He finishes at the medium move. Good ball movement. That is Harvard number 74. Next That's Alexis Zinke. Zinke. Sorry. Nice goal by Zinke there. Nice score for Harvard. Good ball movement. And keeping up with that drop ball. Brown now with the quaffle. Bring the ball up the right side. We got Brown beaters in the middle of the field trying to create some space here. All right, sorry, the score is 80-40. Harvard in the lead. We've had some, a little bit of confusion there. That's our fault. Another nice tackle, although maybe an illegal one. We'll see what the call is. Toby Marsh, get the hand up. Lead interaction, playing after beat. Harvard, number five. It's a blue card. Woman in the box until Brown scores. Oh, yeah. So that's a blue card for playing after beat on Harvard beater number five, Daniel Schaefer. Another blue card for playing after beat on these Harvard beaters. Um, that's not a good look, I'll be real. Uh, you want to get, you gotta follow the rules, keep your beaters in the play. Uh, and we have another beater, this is the third beater player play of the game. See if Brown can take advantage. There you go. And Harvard's low, uh, sole beater, number 17, Ashley Schreiber with the ball. Creative beats. Bludgers are on the ground, but a nice hit by Paul to slow it down. Thank you. Waffles behind the hoops now. Oh, there that could be a slide. slide. There's a loose ball. Uh, we'll see what the call is. There are two fouls on the play. First, illegal physical contact. 14. Contact from behind. Harvard number 13. Yellow card. I'm in the box until Brown scores. Second, illegal physical contact. Contact below the knee. Harvard number two. Also a yellow card. I'm in the box until Brown All right. scores. So if you didn't catch that, there are two fouls on the play. Both illegal physical contact yellow cards on Harvard Quaffle players. First contact from behind, I believe on Bola. Yep. Uh, both chasers. So 
and then an illegal slide on the other chaser. Okay, let's see. We got a lot so of things. So now we have a 6 3 Harvard playing aggressive and is not paying off when they're playing illegally. Harvard does have a beater with a budger by hoops right now. Uh, and both of Brown's beaters are back behind their half. So should be interesting to see. Can Brown still make the most of this opportunity and score against a bludger and two Quaffle players? One minute. You've got 39 seconds. All right. Brown driving. Shot over, no good. That's gonna be a reset. All the way back. Again, Harvard has three people on defense right now. They're playing something that looks like a zone, but um, drive by Richardson, no good. And Harvard picks up the quabble. Somehow, somehow, Harvard makes a three v six stop. And now they are going to play as slow as possible. The story of the last like five or six minutes of this game has really been Harvard playing aggressive, getting penalties, but then still able to get stops no matter what the numbers differences are. Paul puts the ball to the top. You gotta think Brown's gonna look to press here. They take a reset, but keeping his beat out. Fast break opportunity. Block at the hoops. Picked up by Brown, number 13, Richardson. He's getting wrapped up, ball out. And Harvard kills the penalty, both chasers coming back in. Tori Lindsay drives, tackled. Another drive, block, block to the hoops. Oh my goodness, Harvard's defense. Harvard makes another stop. 15 minutes! Unreal action here. Brown getting wonderful opportunities, good looks, but Harvard pulling off these last minute stops, even with numbers differences when their players are in the penalty box. And they just, Brown just can't quite convert at the hoops. They're getting close. And that, that's a play, Harvard's gonna win back bludger control and Aaron beat by Brown. And now with control, they're gonna swing it out to the wing. Back, 74. Kicks it behind. Pretty good passing. That's a stoppage. There might be a discussion about whether or not that ball went through. Uh, yeah, it's a duck attempt. I'm not sure if it went through or not. Chaser, I believe. So the goal is no good. Crawford turnover to Brown. Uh, no goal in play. Score is still 80 to 40. Harvard up. So Harvard with a four goal lead here. You got to think Brown's going to need to narrow that difference before we get to snitch on pitch play. Before that 20 minute mark. Definitely. We know Harvard is dangerous on the fast break, which is often what happens during snitch on pitch. Uh, so. Brown can't let that happen. Can't let them run free, but also needs to have resources on the snitch. We'd love to see Brown get one or two more goals closer for 20 minutes. Brown making a sub. We have Bradley Smith into the game and Andrew Steinberg back into the game. And I believe we also have number 63 Brown, Kobe Chaser, into the game as well. And ball number 16 and a beater along one of the Tory Lindsay's. Smith with a quaffle, back to Steinberg, but Steinberg managed to pick it up off the ground, dunks through the medium hoop, even with the hoop down, Brown gets the ball, Steinberg, immediate difference on offense, score now 80-50, Harvard advantage. Hey Jack, give him the ball, go down! Come on, Brown! Harvard beater Lee making some presses deep into the Brown zone. But can't beat out Steinberg, he's the keeper at the top of the zone. Quaffle on the left wing, all the way down. Back up top, good ball movement by Harvard. Probing that zone. Looking for their chances. Lee really picking off the chasers, trying to create some openings up here. Steinberg, nice block on that shot, maybe a pass, but Harvard recovers, misses the shot. Another oh, block, block by Bradley Smith. Smith is beat, and Kobe, 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 Kobe gets to the quaffle. 
Steinberg with nice block by Lee. Another nice block by Lee. Keep playing control for Harvard here. Nice beautiful play by Lee. Maybe looked at me overextended, but cleans up. Oh, nice clear. Beat, I think Brown might get control off this. Steinberg comes off room. Nice hit. Keeper is beat. But enough Harvard players in the area. Kicks it off to 74. Zinke over to Harvard Chaser number two. Look for, look for Bass, look for Bass. And Brown back in their zone. Pass behind. Shot? It looks like it was no good. No good? Spins the hoop. room before the shot. Unclear, but no good. Another stop by Brown. So score is still 80-50. The pace of play has increased pretty considerably. Definitely. This game has been pretty chaotic. Steinberg driving down the right wing. Rips a shot. Just, just off the top bar. Just off the top of the hoop. Really good look. We have a bludger. Bludger hits the camera. <laughs> recovers. And the claw hole also hits the camera. And there's going to be... Dangerous kick. Round number 15. Yeah. This is the yellow card, one minute in the box until Harvard scores. You have a turnover to stepping uh, like, out. Nothing like doing something and immediately yeah. ran yeah. <laughs> yep. so I was like, That was the right call, Chris. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so don't we, apologize to me. We have a dangerous kick on Sorry about that, Harvard. Bradley, don't apologize to me. I'm not the person you want. Uh, on number 15, on Brown, Bradley Smith, seeing a yellow card in the box. Uh, and also, we've got someone Harvard for an injury. We got number two. So, number two, Neuhauser, Neuhauser looking to run. Nice, nice hit by Brown. Slow down. But Harvard for the call. Lee clearing out the chasers. Neuhauser continuing to move. Yeah, Charlie! Had a chaser open, decides to just dunk on the top hoop, gets the goal, and that'll be 90-50 Harvard. So this, this differential is still at... Oh no, we got control! 19 minutes! Sorry about that camera. Brown just walking it up. So the goal differential is still at four. Harvard still with a, a relatively considerable lead. Steinberg getting wrapped up. No, he's tries to tackle. A floater on the top hoop again, just barely over the top for Brown, but picked up. Drive, kicks it out to Kobe. Oh, the block! Stop by Harvard's keeper. And I think no patience. Uh, oh, but, but Steinberg is able to get the shot off the four. Got the pass. Oh, no, okay. a, uh, a warning from the ref on how to properly <laughs> remount and tag back in after getting beat. Definitely some, uh, you know, some playing after beat calls, some questionable tagging in. Uh, it's been a bit of a chippy game. A little bit chippy. Definitely very physical. Some of it has been clean. Some of it hasn't. Hey, Jack, don't let the play until the time runs out. Wait for the time. Wait for the time. Wait, they're waiting. There you go. Alright, so this 20 minutes, this will be the last oh, possession. Brown. Harvard's going to keep control. Nice play by John. Yeah, there we go. Good work, Ty. Good work. And a penalty? Ethan, you had to fight that one. What happened? What happened? Let's see what the call is. So, interesting bludger exchange there. Um, there could be a call on the play, but... Yeah, Brown's beaters uh, tried to make a play for control. Smart. You want control going to snitch on pitch. Um, all the blokes were on the ground briefly. And so we'll see what the call is. At review, there is no call on the play. Remount, the last possession is continuing. All right, no call on the play. Still the last possession before the stoppage. Harvard with a quaffle at midfield. So Harvard will have a chance to score here before 20 minute break. Kicks it out wide. Pass down behind the hoop. And that's going to roll out of bounds. So no goal for Harvard before the stoppage. 20 minutes. 
Current scores, Brown 50, Harvard 90, Seth Seeker 160, 160. Right First Seekers are going to be Richardson for Brown and Free for Harvard. Richardson, if you could just like duck down a little for the camera, thank you. Andrew Stiver bringing the ball up the field. Four, three, two, one. Seekers are out. Smith puts it through on a nice hustle play. Uh, scores 9 6. Freed getting a first look at Beckman as a snake. All beaters look to be on the snitch. No, Harvard's keep Harvard's uh, sorry, Brown is going for a split beater left. Um, but so far that's just let give him a lot of time for Freed. Nice passing from Harvard. Uh, yeah, good, good luck. Good luck. Good handle and Harvard won, not able fast to again. Oh. Hit hard, but flips the ball at Steinberg. Pass across. Beautiful ball movement from Brown. You love to see that, even with a beater back. Two nice passes. And we have, and we a, have stoppage. a stoppage. But yeah, Harvard moving the ball well as well. Just that last pa pass didn't quite connect by hoops. Um, and so not able to score a goal, but then Brown able to capitalize, bring it the other way, and get an opportunity, even with some strong wrap-ups by Harvard. So, great ball movement on both sides there, but Brown able to capitalize on their chances. Free still with a look at the snitch. Let's go, Leo. Fake high going on. He slapped the ground. Brown, Brown Seeker is not, Richardson is not going to look Off the elbow. Keep it nine for Harvard. And Driving, pass down below to one, but one is beat. And Brown makes another stop and then he says on pitch. They got one beat. One beat. Sorge, you are, uh, okay. What do we have to repeat? Okay. Harvard really posting out their beaters by the snitch, giving Freed lots of time. Harvard are now going for a split beater look with one beater rack on defense. Last time Brown scored on this look. Still in, in as a chaser now. A new look from them. But the pass is stuck. Turnover, Harvard on a fast break. And we have a call. This might be a moving illegal screen. Charging the player without the ball. Harvard number 98. Get wrapped up. So that's going to be. Second yellow. 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 Scores 90 70. Harvard has yet to score during the tempest, but they've had way more luck than Strong finish. Another goal for Brown. 90-80 now is the score. And another stoppage, potentially injury. Brown putting up three goals unanswered during the top pitch. Brown really turned it around. I mean, when we were right before snitch on pitch, right before that 20 minute mark, we were talking about how we thought they really needed to to close that deficit before snitch on pitch to give them a better look at winning this game. But since the uh, 20 minute mark, with that split beater look at, at snitch and in quaffle play, Brown has really been able to capitalize on a lot of their chances and get good looks. What? What's up? I think he's just saying hi. Okay. Um, yeah, so, yeah, we've talked about both teams being on the fast break. So far during snitch on pitch, Brown has looked better on the fast break, and that's the reason for this three-goal comeback. Yeah, so the score is 90-80 here. Harvard's still in the lead by one. Nice play by Lee on the snitch to maybe that control for Harvard. 98 back in the game after serving the penalty. Oh, and we haven't tangled snitch yet. Ryan Richardson. Richardson from Brown, sock in hand. We're gonna have to see if this is good. This could be absolutely huge for Brown. 
this would be a really huge catch, both in terms of this game and Beckman being a really good Woo! snitch. I mean, it's a tough look for anyone, so. Dude, the catch is good. Beckman is good. Wow. They are in the lead. Wow. So. So, the score is now 110 or 115. Brown, 90 Harvard. Set score is 160. So Brown's still five away. We, we might have a lot more of this game. Um, but Brown is in the lead for the first time since maybe the fourth minute of this game. Absolutely huge catch by Richardson there. We'll see how the course of play changes with both beaters for both teams back in the Quaffle game. Harvard shot blocked. Another nice Another block. Two good blocks, making a stop, and they get the ball to the keeper. Brown's defense. Staying strong. Come on now. There's an incredible energy coming from the bench. I'm hungry. I need fruit. They are hungry for this win. <laughs> Ball on the wing, kicks it back out to Steinberg. Steinberg gets beat hard. That is an emphatic beat attempt. Harvard's beaters coming out aggressive. Brown, Brown gets the quaffle, still with the ball. Beater on, throwing around, it over. good pass, but oh, just good over the hands of the chaser high. at the hoops. Harvard will eventually recover this ball in their keeper zone. Harvard wins that control. Jung with a tackle of sorts there is ripping the ball out of Brodsky's hands. So Harvard with bludger control here and the offensive possession. We'll see if they can close that deficit. Kicks it out again. Down to Freed on the right wing, unguarded. Freed shot. Good through the top hoop. That middle hoop. seen this before. <laughs> He didn't get as far towards the hoops this time with some nice pressure um, by Brown number 11. I don't know, I couldn't tell if we were watching a replay there or if that was happening live. Oh, that's gonna be some kind of call. Illegal physical contact, grabbing the player without a ball. Harvard number zero. Yellow card. Another yellow card in Harvard for illegal physical contact. This so going to be tackling the player without the ball. So I believe on that play, Brown Chaser fumbled to get possession of the ball and Freed went in for the tackle, resulting in a penalty there. It's a tricky spot to be in. We've all been there. Kind of unfortunate. Not as egregious as some of the other yellow cards we've seen, certainly. But Oh, but Harvard able to make a beat right on that first but pass. Hustle play by Brown picks up the squad before Harvard gets there. And they take the reset. Smart play. There's some good, some high beater pressure. Brown with control here. With control here. Silverman and Ball making an aggressive play, but just the lead blocks that easily. Shot. Oh, the ball hits the post of the hoop and turtled well by Harvard. Number 74 is Inky, I believe. Ball comes up with the ball. And Harvard defense again. Coming up strong. Good to look there from Brown. A little unorthodox. I wasn't sure when the shot kind of came off there, but they were able to get a good look. It hits the post of the hoop just, just outside, though. In the craft, we like to call that a shot pass. <laughs> if it's a pass, you can claim it as a pass, or if it goes in, you claim it as a shot. Bola. I do love those. <laughs> Ian Skirt, noted shot passer. Harvard playing it slow, killing the penalty. We'll see if the ref first comes to advance. Leo out of the box. Both Harvard beaters kind of posting up on either side of the front of the field here. Really pressing all the way to the keeper zone. And Freed is, guess where Leo Freed is going? Around the right side. Unmarked. He's going to drive behind the hoop. Steinberg with a nice hit. The B comes in. But I think he blocks it. Hey, drop, 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 drop. But now Brown beaters able to clean up. In, cleaning up the mess. Really nice. Nice pressure there from Brown. And they stop, they stop the Leo Freed play. We said they needed an answer. They and there's your answer. Yeah, there's an answer. I don't know if that'll work every time, but it's better than no answer at all. Um, that beat came quicker, I think. Yeah. Steinberg pushed out to make the hit and stayed in front, didn't get beat. Um, Freed definitely pretty slippery. And then uh, Ryan Silverman with a nice beat. 
Oh, nice little ball there to try to block the beat out of the hand. It's not gonna work, but the balls are on the ground. Steinberg rips it across to Smith. Smith held up. Oh, Harvard looking to fast break. Oh, but a throw after off room. I believe Bradley the player came off room. Up. Is beat. I don't know what's going on. Freed hit hard and the ball goes out of bounds. So a lot of commotion there. Our score is currently 115 to 110. Brown in the lead. Nice hit by uh, Deshante. Yeah, Deshante and Tori Lindsay there with a the hit. Set score is 160. Hey, Leo, drop the ball from me. The ball was knocked out of bounds by Brown, but touched by Harvard last. Therefore, it is inbound Brown. So, inbound Brown after the, uh, so the ball was knocked out, but then hit Harvard. So it is Brown ball, ultimately. Nice defensive stop there. One second. Score's correct. Okay. Score is 110 Brown to 100 Harvard. 115. Sorry. There's also Unsporting conduct, making ref calls on the coach for Harvard. This is a blue card. Going in the box until Brown scores. Pull someone in the and so also on the play, we have a blue card on the Harvard coach for making ref calls after being warned earlier in the game. So this blue card will be served by Harvard Chaser. You have to bring it in the ref. Of the coach, you cannot serve time in the box, which is sometimes we would like to see that. On the whistle! Ethan Sturm putting his team down a player here, although if we've seen anything so far in this game, it's that Harvard can kill penalties. Now Brown bringing the quaffle up. They did just use their reset on the inbounding of the ball. Nice Peter block by Silverman the there. That's gonna, oh no, nice shot by Jung. Jung needs on Silverman. Oh, and Steinberg finishes on the small hoop. Brown, 120, 125, excuse me, Harvard 110. But, Harvard Chaser now releasing the penalty. Harvard with control. Nice probing pass. Beautiful pass and finish. That was number nine, unmarked at the medium hoop. That is a nice goal. That is uh, Jack Griffin, I believe. Jersey does not say Griffin, but we're going with the Rocky Key. Next offense. Next offense. So. Brown holding on to a one goal lead here. Harvard at 110. Again, set score is 160. Brown 125. So Brown needs four, Harvard needs five. Steinberg swings the ball behind Bradley Smith. Smith driving on a beater. Beautiful Shot ball. is good. 130 Brown, back to a two goal lead. We've had a couple goals back and forth here. And if this keeps happening with no defensive stops, Brown will win this game. So set score is 160, Brown now three goals away. Bola kicks it out to Freed, down to uh, Zinke, I believe. Yep. Gets it out, maybe, but, but Bradley Smith cleans it up! The play. Pass it off to Steinberg so that Harvard's beat. these loose waffles all game. Oh, Jessica Lee with a really nice beater play, just to annoy Missed Brown. that with the camera, but uh, <laughs> Jessica Lee really cleaning up the beater play, getting control for Harvard there, making a nice beat. Sorry about the camera again. I'm doing my best. Eleven kicks it down to Bradley Smith behind the hoops. Over Steinberg, beautiful passing again. Steinberg, Steinberg finishes through contact. Another goal for Brown. Beautiful passing again. Brown two goals away. Quaffle all the way across. Silverman beating pressing free. And Freed blocks the beat. Drives. So Freed wrapped up by Steinberg. Brought oh, and brought down to the ground. But someone gets the ball out. The ball ends up outside. Zinke is beat. Pass him in turn. Ball is beat to, to Brown. Another huge defensive stop by Brown. Yeah, hey, hey, Tony, give the ball to Tony. Give the ball to Tony. So Andrew Steinberg subbing out of this game. Richardson in. Richardson. 
Made some plays in the Quaffle game earlier. Also caught the snitch. Put Brown back in the lead. <laughs> Certainly Big the plays all around, around here. Side goal! Side goal! Pass the ball to the right wing. Behind Jessica to Bradley Smith. Lee. Great beat with Jessica Lee really cleaning up. Jessica Lee has been a, a big difference maker in this game, giving Harvard lots of opportunities. I don't think she subbed out. Harvard. She might be in this whole game. You're right. Nice passing. Oh! oh, my oh. Smith. oh. What the heck? So Leo Freed with a great okay. shot opportunity. We're going to stop so we can talk about what happened here. Because Freed <laughs> gets a nice pass. I, I don't know from, from who. I, I can't remember. I'm sorry. Has the ball in, in his right hand, gets hit hard by Smith. Nice hit. Able to turn around and switch hands. Switch his hands behind his back? And finishes with the uh, Behind hit. Bradley Smith's back, maybe. Finishes lefty through the small hoop. We'll see if there's a call in the play. There are two calls on the play. There are two. There are two. Goal is no good. So Four. despite the crazy goal. So despite the despite the crazy uh, goal attempt there, Leo Freed was beat before, so that goal is not going to be good. But Frankie Richardson with a contact below. Yeah, below the What? Will result in Harvard getting the quaffle back. So not a goal immediately, but a good chance certainly on the power play. And the score is 145 to 110. So Brown needs two goals here to win this game. And Harvard needing five. Ball off brings it over to Freed. Freed on March up top this time. Different look. Freed drives into the middle. Beautiful floating through top here. Harvard back with their famous all day chant. Haven't heard it all day. <laughs> and we have a timeout call from Brown. So, this is going to be an interesting, I, interesting strategic time to call a timeout here. So, Brown is two goals away. So, if they make the right call, adjustments here, they might be able to get up two goals before Harvard can have an answer for that. However, Harvard certainly. A very uh, strategic team, a lot of really smart coaches um, and smart players, and we'll have an opportunity to maybe look, show a different look on offense or defense or both to catch Brown off on their toe, like you know, off guard. Brown we'll a quick timeout, maybe just to catch, catch their breaths. They only need two. If they can just go all out for two possessions, that might be enough. And I mean, this is a big game. The stakes are pretty high. We have the D1 leader in the MQC, Massachusetts Quidditch Conference, and you have your D2 leader facing off in a matchup. I mean, this, this would be a huge upset. This would be a huge upset. <laughs> Brown has played teams uh, last, I believe they played Harvard last week, and Harvard came out on top. I don't know the score, but I don't think it was this close. Um, two weeks? I don't know. <laughs> last round robin, two weeks ago. <laughs> what is what is time? What is time? Um, so, we have yeah. Brown with the quaffle. Setting up on offense. Harvard with a high press, high beater press here. Maybe just... Maybe just a diversion. Yeah, it looks like Harvard... Oh no, Harvard beater still... Harvard normally likes to have the beaters in the keeper's arm, but Harvard, I believe... You know what? That's number 10, Nick, like, young, pressing high, but falls back into the zone eventually. Will Richardson Under pressure by down to Bradley Smith. Bradley Smith driving around. Rips a shot, barely misses. Richardson almost puts it back to it, but Paul has a fast break. Just Steinberg to beat, but Steinberg makes a huge hit. Falls on the ball. Falls on the ball. Playing after beat, Brown's ball. What a tackle by Andrew Steinberg in a huge moment. Ian Falk really took off out of that pile, cleaning up the loose ball, bringing it down on a fast break. I believe that's who that was. Yep. But Andrew Steinberg making a huge hit, getting a stop. So the score still stands, 145 to 120. So that's score 160. Brown needs two goals. Post up the Steinberg? Oh, beat before on the deflection! Beat before, and Leo Freed is on a fast break. Dogs beat, oh, but brought, but brought down by Will Richardson! Ball gets flipped down, 18, kicks it over, and then Paul, they're huge, brought down by Bradley Smith picks it up, but they're not getting This game, this game is absolutely incredible.
Illegal physical contact. Illegal wrap on a helpless receiver. Brown, number seven. So that's going to be a wrap on a helpless receiver on Andrew Steinberg. It's going to be a yellow card. So that wrap was initiated before Polk was able to catch the quaffle, and that's going to result in that penalty. And yeah, helpless receiver is a dangerous game because if you hit them, too, like it, it, that can be a red you, card, you, and that yeah. would be devastating. But just a yellow, so Steinberg will come to the box. Brown could make the stop here, though. We've seen we've, we've crazy seen so stops power plays all kill. game. But Paul has the ball in the keeper zone. But has Bradley Smith. Oh, but oh, a nice move to get around Bradley Smith. Steinberg is immediately back in. And that's honestly what we need to see from chasers on both sides. We've seen a lot of chasers just run straight into other chasers. But in two arm tackling, you can't get away with that. But one little fake can go a long way. Nice pipe nice job by Paul Fair. 145, 130. One goal game. Oh, and a fumble. And Paul running again. But beat? Oh, and the bludger misses Steinberg. Have a beat her back, but that's not going to slow him down. Bradley Smith. And Bradley Smith scores. Brown needs one more. Brown needs one more goal. One more. Steinberg and Smith certainly. So Ian Polk on the fast break steps out of bounds, resulting in a turnover. Lee misses the beat just over Steinberg, who's reaching to grab the quaffle. They run down. They get a goal. Pass to Bradley Smith. The Steinberg to Smith connection, undoubtedly a strong one. And Harvard throws the ball out of bounds. It's going to be a brown ball. Brown with the chance to win right here, right now. Harvard, a critical mistake just at the end of the game here. Hey, let's finish it. Yeah, Brown's only really coming through in the clutch so far. And a huge play on the beater to win back control by Tori Lindsay. He misses the beat, but Free picks it up. Oh, but Free does beat! Silverman picks it up. Picks it up. Silverman fumbles the quaffle. Bradley Smith leaves up the quaffle. Bradley Smith driving. Bradley Smith scores! Bradley wins! We're going to see if the goal is good. There was a lot of beats going on in that play. We're going to wait to see what the fun is. Goal is good! Goal is good! Goal is good! That will be a victory for Brown. Bradley Smith, game winner, final score, 165-130. Brown beats Harvard. That is a Absolutely huge incredible win. victory for Brown. Oh boy.